I came up with the design plan. Mm. Yeah, 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 Lord. It works with. Actually, what's that, with? Yeah, what's with high. For real. I'm actually the designer of the new metric uniform, the skirts and the pants. Hey. When I was working there last year, 2021. Was it 2021? Yeah, I started working in 2021, yeah. late. And then uh, I worked along 2022 as well. Yeah. Hey. Shit. Yeah. So I've been doing my shit. I'm just really trying to blow. Race against time, but I'm really riding slow. You be slow for me down. That's the thing, my bro. Looking at my homies, who the realest I don't know. Even the toast is looking like the furthest from me. Trying to work out the diameter, your circle for me. I can't even find the radius, it's hurting with me. Shit, never see the end of it. Niggas is out here on some jealous shit. Dog, you want some bullshit, think I ain't smelling it? Niggas only arrive if they benefit. No I, I don't I want this to be so Alright. Yeah, yeah. But is everything cool though? Yeah, everything is obviously. Yeah, yeah, please, please. please. Alright, alright. Let's run it, bro. Let's run it. Yeah, also, bro, talk about the Wi Fi thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, bro. Most stiff. Well, now it's cozy, bro. Yo. Shut up. Yo, the house. Yo, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yo, yo. What's good, my niggas? It's your boy B on the, another episode of the motherfucking Elusive Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got a special guest. Karibo couldn't be here today. So I'm handling it on my own. Yeah, yeah. Got uh, the boy Kyo Cuss up in here. My nigga Kyo, what it do, man? Introduce I'm good, man. Yourself. How about you? Introduce yourself, bro. Uh, my name is Kyo Cuss, man. The man, the myth, the legend. Uh, I'm a fashion designer, actually mm. fashion in the mass market. So I don't want to be like I'm cut, like cause you're fucked up, you cut, bro. Fuck, I'm, I'm yeah. tripping, I'm tripping, like it's not over, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck, it's like, not over, all right? No, 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 it's not over. Fuck, Yo, I'm public right now. You <laughs> fuck, what the hell? Oh, relax, dog. Just, just start, just. <laughs> but I just started over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start over. <laughs> Yo, what's good, my niggas? It's your boy B on another episode of the motherfucking Elusive Podcast. How y'all doing, man? I got a motherfucking special yeah, guest today. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, like a <laughs> What's happening today? <laughs> shit. Okay, feed it. Not. I'm not gonna do this shit no more. Yeah. Let me, let me, uh, let me, let me. Let me <laughs> now you laughing and shit. <laughs> let me calm down, bro. Hey, I don't okay. Know. Maybe okay. I'm down. I didn't even eat today, bro. Shit. Since like saying I'm busy, maybe my mind is all over. Yeah. But let me let me focus, bro. Let me be a pro. Let me be a pro. All right. All right let's roll it. Let's go. Is it mistake I learned that, but you just you mm. know, so, all right. Uh, so if you make one again, like don't don't be like cut it. Just, oh, okay. <laughs> feed, feed, just feed. Yeah, boy, fix it. Yeah. Yeah, and, so, and just say the the correct thing after. Right, Cause cool. it's not like a song, like it has to be. Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm being too. Yeah, too pro on yeah. It. All right, so, all right, all right, but yeah, let's start over. Right. What's good, my niggas? It's your boy B on another episode of the motherfucking Elusive Podcast. Yeah, I yeah. got a special guest. Karibo couldn't be here, by the way, uh, but I'm handling it on my my own today. So I got a special guest, motherfucking Kyo. Kyo cuts up in the building. What it do? Homie? Thank you for having me, bro. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Introduce yourself, my nigga. Uh, my name is Kyo Cuss, man. The man, the myth, the legend. Founder of Quality Merch Store, fashion designer, fashion accessory and designer. Yeah, that's about it. The rest is just. Right. up and coming right. yeah yeah right. yeah right. so fashion bro i've I, I looked at your page your page is like it's fire bro it's oh, clean yeah. as shit bro oh yeah Overpeats. i get that a lot bro Young i get that like, a lot like crazy it's like you planned it it's like yeah you mentioned that you were friends with china and his shit is also like you know, oh yeah yeah i would Young be friends with, since like you're way back bro yeah it's like way back, like primary yeah like yeah, yo, since yeah. like primary. i don't even this. know where to start bro you went to the same schools and shit. not the same school exact but we grew up in the same hood we grew up oh, in the same hood because right. we were like you know those youngins ambitious at the time we didn't know we were creative at the time yeah, you know yeah, and then yeah. we just like grew up and we just like realized okay shit, this is our thing let's run this shit. Yeah, but yeah. i got it like later on because he was doing we do, used to do music together oh. it was him and Flux and me like a trio, mm. form a, kind of like a group thing going on over what there. What was the name of the group? We didn't really necessarily have a name. We just like <laughs> had like individual names. Oh, My name was like okay. Master Kid. He was 
China, yeah, it was China. I think it was China yeah, or Master China. China. It was they did an M. I don't know. Yeah. And then Flux was like Flux. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't, yeah, we just like running up, doing music. Like we did like heavy tracks. Till this day, I still asking the homie, where are the tracks, bro? Yeah. From yeah. what age was that? Probably like fourteen. Thirteen. Yeah, yeah, around those times. Shut yeah, up. 13. Damn. Yeah, bro, we still have those tracks. So you, you don't do any music anymore? Nah, I don't necessarily do music because at the time, it's, I couldn't like write lyrics, you dig? I couldn't write lyrics, so yeah, I had my auntie it. was the one writing the lyrics for me. So I was like, I judged myself <laughs> young. I was like, nah, rap is not really my thing, you know, let me just quit it. And then, yeah, as I was growing up, you know, you, you change your decisions and things that you want to do. And then you ex like organically find mm -hmm. like what sticks to you, like this fashion thing. I was like, right, this is my thing. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. let me just run with this shit. I'm actually good at it too. Yo, you're too <laughs> heavy bro. too. Like, you're yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Like, as I was saying, like when I saw your your Insta and shit, like I didn't notice you because my you, you just mentioned forty. Oh yeah. Ukuti, you know me, and when you when you are like, I know your house. I'm like, who's this guy? Why? <laughs> but yeah, then I remember. You that, remember oh, when you you, saw him. Yeah, yeah, because you should stay in the same hood. Yeah, we should stay yeah. in the same hood at this point, bro. Yeah. Like just about here, not the hell, bro. Because you should stay looking around. Because remember, I came here last time. Yeah. I was like, yeah. yo, bro, let's record something. I got a studio. You say you mean I got a studio? I was like, okay, I'm down. Let's get it. Sure. I will, sure. And uh, we chill for some minute. We we'll smoke a blunt. I remember the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was I with like? Other niggas. You was with other homie. I don't remember the homies necessarily, but you mm. with the other homie as well. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. But yeah, dog, because like when you followed me, mm. I didn't know that I know I knew you. Oh yeah, I at just the time. followed back because Cause, yeah, it's I been a while too. I understand. Fire, yeah, it's been. A, thank yeah, you so much, bro. Like nah, that's shit, that's love right there. Your shit that's is love right clean there. as fuck. <laughs> like, yo, like the pictures, like the yeah. swag, everything. And this shit, don't, people maybe think I plan it. Mm. You know, I just do. I just do it, bro. Mm. Like the night, I like. I'm a Nike fan, bro. I just do things in a way. <laughs> and I'm not everything. There's stuff that you have to play, and but I just do them, bro. Already, he shot my punchline. Then he says his aunt was was writing for him. That's cash. Well, now I can write though, cause I'm looking to jump back in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, catch yeah. me on that. Catch me on that. You gotta track me. I'm coming up. Coming up. So before the fashion, it was like the music and your aunt writing for you. Did yeah, you, before you before it was started as music. Yeah. And from music, and then I just, I focused on school, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, I focused, I was heavy on school. Fede was ups and downs there and there. Mm. But, like, I came to a point where, at school, you know, you used to meet random homies. Mm. Random homies would be like, yo, dude, look, your voice is dope. Hey, the teachers, yo, your voice is deep. You know, those were fucking remarks at school. So I was like, okay, Fede. Yeah. Um, yeah, I should go to radio. Hey, radio. I didn't take it as serious at the time, but, like, after mm. I got out of school, I didn't really pursue it. Mm. Or like, ah, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm doing yeah. VNs, chatting with Hans, you know, on yeah, the gram and shit yeah, on the WhatsApp. Yeah. Like, oh, your boy's I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah. why is that dope? Like, consistently. Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. babe, okay, this is really happening, you know? Mm. But before that, I started a business. Like, I started a business. I was like, all right, let me, because I was business minded, mm. you know, I was heavily business minded. I, I always think about money, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when I'm sleeping, yeah, I think about money. Yeah, when I wake up, I think about money. Yeah, so yeah. I'm always like, I can't feed it. Um, let's, let me start a business. Push out my cologne, mm. fragrances, selling fragrances available around when, CP when around. Did the idea come up? Like you had homies that we were no or some shit. Ah, uh, like my mom actually. My mom's like yo, my my everything. She's mm. the one that actually introduced me to some suppliers that actually sell and make cologne. Mm. You know, I'm like, I, you can actually sell these. I'm like, I, I look at them. I'm like, okay, fit. Let me let me run it up. Mm. And it was those times where it three fifty they sang it, and I thought you you didn't have that much money. Yes, I took yeah, yes, sasa, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the money yes, sasa with like seven hundred for like two months. Mm. I took the money yes, sasa, and I bought mass like colognes, bro, mm. like mass colognes. And then mangta itavele, and then I started reselling them, make gang cash. For real. Yeah, I make gang cash. And then now it's quality merch. It was quality colognes. Yeah. Now yeah. it's quality merch. Damn. I just transformed it like, okay, this is now it's clothing, now it's fragrances, now it's jewelry. Mm. You know? Yeah, the whole accessory and designs, more designs are coming up. Stay tuned. I have the one what I have right now, yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. I used to say like it's nothing, it's just the beginning. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you wanna build an empire around this? Shit. I wanna I wanna do so so much, bro. Like the vision is I think about that shit every day, bro. Mm. Like no cap, bro. Every day I what I wanna do, I wanna reinvent the word store and make it something something big mm. and i'm saying like i'm gonna let's say you take the next south african h&m mm. 
Mm. That's what Colibri Merch is right now. Mm. The bigger vision is that I want, it, I want it to be like the next South African Amazon, yeah. if you can say, where people can come through and sell their own shit on the platform. I want to make it a, a cultural platform mm. where mm. people can like, okay, you can sell your stuff, you can buy stuff. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then there's jewelry, there's accessories, there's like design, stuff that are not bought, like, Born and bred here. Mm. Usually the H&M is it's a, it's an international company. It is, it is. Yeah, and Cotton, the Cotton On Group, the Typo, the Factory, the, what's the other one? I think Typo Factory and, and Cotton On, yeah. Mm. That's the Cotton On Group. Uh, but the, I like, uh, I've been looking at the founder too, Nigel Austin. Mm. One of my inspirations in terms of entrepreneurship as well. And who? Yeah, internationally, that's, I think that's him and Jeff Bezos and all that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm currently focused there on the motherland. The motherland is a legend, you know, legend Sheldon. Who, who's that? The, the founder of Legends Barber. Oh. Yeah, shit. yeah. I was with him at Cotton Fest the other day. Yeah. On a call with him, telling me about my shit. Yeah. I'm like, yo, shit, let me check it out. Check it out on the spot. Follow me on the spot. Follow the page on the spot. Shout out to Oh, him. like, okay, because I've been a legend fan since, like, it came through. When so it started you always in, knew him, man. I always, like, I always, I didn't know him like that, though. Yeah, yeah. I used like, to see him around the stores. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Nimbo and Andrew. I'm like, okay, that's Ivan Bonis. What is it? That's the foul. Oh, you know? When yeah, Legends yeah. was still on the, on the, yeah. I come up. I'm like, oh, that's him. Okay, fair. Because I guess a young, I still have pictures. Like, yeah, as a, yeah. a Legends, but when it came through, okay. Because he was like, to me right now, he's kind of like, one of, okay, one of top 10 mm. inspirations. Mm. You know, because he took a simple thing, like a salon. Yeah. And he, he was able to turn it into... A fucking empire right now bro, that runs a say in terms branding of branding behind that shit bro, is, dude, is crazy bro. dude the way he promoted it using the celebrities and i used to i was literally was watching him do it yeah you know on the on the phones and everything i used to come in the stores niggas used to know me legends niggas like oh yeah my mom used to take me there bro like heavy bro you know mm. when you're that kid yeah, in school yeah. you know when you're that kid i don't really mind like that you know because <laughs> The shit, to me, it seemed normal, you know? Yeah. But like, yeah, cotton, the dye on black, you know, mm. the dye and everything mm. coming up. Like, yo, we shy, I'm like, oh, legend. But I don't know, man. I'm thinking, why you want uh, these niggas? <laughs> I'm like, how much was the cut? Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, 250, 280. Yeah. At, at high school. At high school. <laughs> I, I thought oh, it's still they started seeing me co doing it consistently like I feel or what uh, well, yeah, yeah but like regardless <laughs> Legend Sheldon are you my biggest inspirations shout one day quality is going to be Legends Barber fashion in that <laughs> yeah. so like it was it wasn't really your plan to do this it just happened because it, you it just happened naturally you know because you know at school when you like okay with my subject let's say for instance business studies yeah I was heavily good in business studies no, but then I was that nigga too. I, I thought I knew too much, mm, mm. you know, to a point where like I didn't really want to study at yeah. times. But like I used to another to point where like okay, yeah, I have to study now. Mm, I have to, mm. and then I started like okay, knowing shit, knowing how business works, and mm. naturally like writing every answer. And it ni puma and so because yeah. business usually you don't have to really, you just have to read and then int like write what you know from the maybe like a case study or scenario. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And then I used to like write even more stuff on it just to add on and mm. to, to see what okay, I'm okay fit I'm good at this and I had the passion as well so I'm like okay let me just run it up with colognes and then from colognes I think I moved to Thrift Thursday Thrift Thursday was like a it was like a campaign mm. in campaign that I created where I took okay I bought thrift shit and I remodified them mm. so, yeah, thrift and you thrift and you thrift and you're like I'm I know you wash you add on what you add on like your, your, your designs on them let's say mind you the pants you, you tailor them just okay. depends on yeah, 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 yeah. You, you tailor them, you tailor them, you just redesign them, maybe add pockets or whatever on mm. them. And then, yeah, I just call it Thrift Thursday. I think from Thrift Thursday, I designed t shirts. T shirts was World on Drugs and PG Lang. And then I, 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 was, I, I won't lie, bro. I got inspired by the, by the Kendrick album, Mr. Morel. Yeah, the the yeah. album fucking hit me. And it just started happening. Merch was getting sold out like crazy, bro. Like, I'm like, okay, fit it, order this and this, this and this. I'm like, okay, fit it. I'm usually, I'm like, okay, fit it. I started calling myself like a fit in my head. It was registered, okay, I'm a designer. I'm not there yet, though. <laughs> I was like, I feel I'm a fashion designer. So and I started reading more about fashion, you know. That's why, hence, I said, I'm focusing on the mass market and fashion jewelry and design. Mm. Who knows, maybe kicks. You know, I could do, like, a shoe designer. Because yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan shit. of kicks from heavier as a youngin. Yeah, I used to yeah. love kicks. I see you, kicks Yeah, I would I'm just, like, rocking ones, white yeah. Air Forces. Yeah, 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 yeah that's it. Out. At least they're not black. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll go that one, I'll go that one. Yeah, because yeah, even as a car, like when you're walking, they're like, hey, I want to pull the states. Yeah. You know what they're the states? <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> I'm I'm like, ah, bro. It's just, it's just who I am, you know? Because I feel like rap doesn't, you cannot fake being 
like in the rap culture. Rap mm-hmm. just chooses you. Straight you know, when you go, I'm a rapper, you're gonna fumble. You're like, gonna uh, look at this nigga, you're gonna be a, g- a gimmick. Yeah, yeah I was a rapper out there, but like, you're gonna be a gimmick. So, rap Straight is down. usually, it's in, the, it's in the DNA, it's not. Mm. Yeah, mm. bro. Damn. <laughs> so, all this shit is just happening, like, along the way. It's not, none of it was planned. That's nah, crazy. Bro, this shit happens naturally, like, organically. Hence, I'm saying, maybe you can say it's inheritance. Mm. You know, because of well, my, my, my dad and everything being. Like in the in the in the rap scene, in the Kwaito rap scene back then. Oh shit! Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. So who's your pops, bro? Uh, my pops was that was like Brian Kilima Chaivani, dog. Yeah. Fifty One Cent he used to go by Fifty One Cent. Yeah. Don't don't ask me how he got the name Fifty One Cent, <laughs> though. But like, yeah, he got like shot a couple of times, shit. maybe like ten times, and then he just he that's how he got the name Fifty One Cent. And then he met Brown Dash, he met Mzege Zege, which is DJ Spoo. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to reveal that. But wow, yeah, we all, <laughs> we all know that. But like, yeah, he met them. He met the uh, Uban or uh, Useshman from Seshman and then they created hit hits on hits on hits. So yeah, as a young and I used to watch him do like everything, and mm-hmm. then he was so he's still popular till this day. You know, it was popular massively back then mm-hmm. until they they crashed, the groups collapsed and everything. But like, yeah, and then at, at times, really, I could say I didn't really focus on him and be like, I, I wanna be like him. Because we're, we're never close like that, yeah, you know, to a yeah. point where we're going to idolize him and be like, hey, okay, fade it. I want to be in your shoes. I want to walk mm. where you walk. I, I wasn't really there. I was, hence, I'm doing business. Business is my thing. Oh, well, true, maybe rap true. could be an extra, mm. you know? Yeah. So that was, that was him back then, running shit up. It did hits on hits. But then, yeah, just to honor him and keep him memory going, because I realized once I, I mentioned his name, Probably like around the east side, mm. yo, bro, people go crazy. They They're go. like, yo, for real, so dad. I'm like, yeah. Where was he from? For love, it. Yeah, I grew up, he actually grew up in Soweto. Oh. Soweto, in, I think with him, Brandish were friends back then. I don't know the whole story. Him, Soweto, Brandish, they were friends. And then he plugged Mosbu, and Smu was a plug, you know, a rope thing. And then they came mm. to D Town really later on. They ran shit up in D Town. They, they toured, they did performances, you know, they did music videos, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, from there, so with the K- Fede, he was he was yo, a legend in the Kwaito yeah. scene, and I'm actually doing like a campaign, like a mini documentary. On him. Just to re- yeah, I'm gonna do like a documentary with my boy Saisis. Shout out to him. Shout out that to boy. Sizes, shout yeah. out to Saisis, bro. Saisis is like a goat and Lefa as well. With the yeah. pictures and the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can shoot like videography. He's very good in videography, bro. That nigga can shoot a fucking movie if he wanted to. Mm. You know? Yeah. Lefa with the cam is sick. Edits everything, bro. When yeah. Lefa is a goat. In terms of photography and the fucking gas in the fucking East Rand. Sure, sure. We actually, yeah, even in Josie. Yo, you actually been playing around in Josie a lot these days. You and him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have the whole gang. It's me, China, Flux, Lefa, Sai. It's great. Yeah, that and Chloe too. Like my, we're moving as a collective. Right now, I'll be honest though, it's not really as heavy back then. Because mm. last year we're running shit up. Because right now it's kind of quiet. Niggas are splitting. Niggas are doing stuff on the, on the side mm-hmm. and everything. But like, Probably the relationship is not over, gents. It's, we gotta get back and do our shit. Cause do you have a name or like as a unit or? Uh, we were thinking about that, but but like we don't wanna label things. Yeah, you I know? think that'll fuck shit up. Yeah, we don't wanna label things. Name, so name. yeah, I, I don't. I mean, just like keep like it, that. keep it blank. You know, yeah, keep it subtle. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, homies are running it up. Hey, yeah, homies are heavily running it up. Moving yeah. as a unit, bro. Like it's mm. it's very important. Cause mm. like it is. niggas. Especially like niggas older than me and niggas from like my age group, they mm. we never did that shit. Oh yeah, like it's it's all clans and cliques. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, you know how niggas be though. They wanna gatekeep. Yangzo. That's why I really, I really, I really hate that, mm. bro. I really mm. hate that because why don't you just help a person get there if you see the talent or even if there's no talent, bro. If a person is like come through up and like your dude, and they want I wanna to do this. He's passionate about yeah. it. Ah, bro, plug the nigga, bro. Don't do that, bro. That's what Ricky was speaking about. Remember when you got the metros yeah, and everything? Yeah, yeah, that message, bro. Let shit up. Look at right now, bro. If I can create a cotton fest after that message, mm. shit started to change, bro. And we took it lightly when he said that mm. with, the, with the glasses and everything, looking crazy there. Yeah. Like, yo, look at Ricky. I was watching him. Yeah. Was like, yo, look at Ricky. What the glasses? What the fuck is this nigga doing? Yeah. But yeah, dude, he had a vision and he achieved it. He achieved it, bro, because mm. everyone now in the industry who has power sees that mm. that actually even helps you. You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, Not exactly. to die out. Your flame won't die out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, you're, it, it's Katsako Siapeda. Mm. 
But like if you're putting on the kids, I think yeah, it's paid. Dude, like, you, dude, he plugged so many niggas dog. Turn. So many niggas dog. I could list them but like, take forever, bro. And the same niggas, I don't wanna be like controversial mm. or like critical. But I was at like Zeus Omega mm. at the, the there was an event with like sports scene. I think yeah. it was the release of the Jordan One, the yeah, Chicago's. Yeah. yeah, Jordan One Chicago. Mm. They were releasing there. And then I came to the homie straight up with the, with my quality merch shit there, mm. dog. I came there, I designed like a like a necklace for them, like a jewelry type of thing going yeah. on. And then I was like I gave it to Zeus. You know, Zeus okay, Zeus doesn't really wear jewelry. You yeah, know, I respected yeah. him saying like ah oh, bro, I don't wear jewelry, just take it to to K the Mafia. Mm. Okay. Like, like, can I, say, yeah, he asked me, like, okay, paid. can I take it to take it to the mafia or will you take it to him? I was like, okay, let me take it to him because you know how these niggas be. Yeah. You know, I was like, I take it to take it to the mafia, give it to the shit. He appreciates it. I'm like, do, do this, promote, just repost it. Hold me, dog, gave him the merch, didn't do, do shit, bro. It's I text him. I'm like, hey, bro, what's up, bro? You, you haven't forgotten? Hey, man, I haven't forgotten. Yada, yada, yada. You know, try to act all fresh. I'm not be yeah, all celebrity. Yeah, yeah. But it don't matter, though. Still going, bro. It don't matter all that. Still going. That's crazy because the interview yeah. we had yesterday was with someone who does merch, who, who used to do merch. Oh, yeah? And so, underscore, again. Underscore, yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. I've heard the name. Yeah, that, that chick was also saying the same thing. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Guys, like, when nah. you have an up and coming, like, merch or, or some shit like mm. that, like, don't give it to celebs because they mm. won't share it oh, and they the won't post it. Homie wasn't really. I don't want to consider to get them off as a celebrity. Yeah, he, yeah he just yeah, like yeah. in in connects in the click with Uncle Waffles and Zeus Omega being the whole. Cause yeah, now he just yeah. acts like a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be real, bro. I keep it real. He just acts like a celebrity, and that shit is not cool. Is that bro. Kai in the cut or is? It, ah, he's in the click, bro. He's in the click with. I give the Zeus Omega like a group or whatever. I don't know, cause I don't really focus on them like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. It's KK. I'm not sure. Mm. Creative. Corner. Yeah, Creative Corner. And yeah, it's him, Zeus Omega, Uncle Kai Waffles. Yeah, Kai. Oh, Ushukai. Oh, Tuk- yeah, Tuke the Mafia. Oh, is it him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know his real name. I just know him Tuke the Mafia. Ever since I was never really on him like that. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. but then yeah, that whole click, whatever. Mm. And then yeah, that was that was it. You know. And then yeah. Hey man, hey. But it is what it is, bro. Like niggas should stop doing that, bro. Just stop it. I don't want to be like I want you to act this way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. if you see a talent, if you see the vision on a homie or a young and trying to come up. Just do something, just yeah. to assist, bro. Yeah. Just assist, you yeah. know? The power gets to some mm. people's mind, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, you know? I, hence, Joe, don't act all fresh, though, because you, now you're the shit or you're going to be the shit. Yeah, just show yeah. some love, you know? Yeah, just, that's what I'm all about, because I don't really, I'm not really like yeah, that. Yeah. I don't want to blow my own whistle, but, like, I, I'm chill, bro. I'm chill. Yeah, Whenever yeah, you yeah. need, I got you. If you need a repost, I got you. If you need a promo, I got you. Shout out you know? to yeah. you for that. Yeah, bro. And speaking of that, like, I saw you... Your TikTok too, like oh, yeah? the numbers are crazy. Ah, uh, the numbers. I feel like there should be more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I feel yeah. like there should be more because um, I, I'm not really consistent though. Mm. That's why, hence, if you look at the bio there, it says part time here. Yeah. yeah, you know, because I'm part time there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because I'm, I'm 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 gonna bro with the take content it more thing. Serious, oh yeah, because you're getting your TikTok like it, you know. It oh could, yeah, it could. If you blow up there, you're gonna blow up everywhere. Oh exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, the TikTok numbers are crazy, though. Mm, the TikTok. They're crazy. I don't really know how the algorithms of TikTok really work. Because, mm. you know, I think I don't think it's with the tags and everything. But, yeah, I'm just keeping up. I think the quality of the video also helps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The quality of the video, the edits and everything, how you put it, how it's supposed to be positioned yeah, when you, yeah. on the first view of the video. Sure. You click. Yeah, I think that matters as well because that keep the numbers going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah straight up. Yeah, because, like, I see your, your videos very... They... they they look like they're supposed to be like it's trending. You know what I'm saying? Are, I get that a lot, bro. The, the numbers, I get like, that a lot. You know, you, you encounter the people that be like, yo, bro, you're underrated. Yo, bro, you slept on. <laughs> like, ah, bro, it don't matter, bro. As long as you're but putting you in the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to shout out to that, bro. And well, you, you will get the, the quality merch, quality yeah. cologne, quality. What is it as a, a quality store? It's, yeah. a, it's a quality merch store. Quality Merch Store. Yeah, so quality, that's the name. That's the name, Quality Merch. The name quality is Quality Merch. I just added store because the platform is a store. Because right. I want to categorize it into different shit. Mm. You know, if, let's say, for example, I want to build a store, mm. a physical store. I want to an online store. Yeah. I want to build a physical store. I would, I would rather build a store separately where I sell sneakers. Yeah. And another store where I sell clothing. Oh, and another shit. store where I sell jewelry. That's smart. <laughs> you know, maybe like need distributor like Centene at some point. That's the whole vision. You know what I'm telling 
Yeah, but like that's the the physical part of it. The online part is just too crazy, bro. Mm. Just too crazy. Thrift stores is the campaign. The the, the 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 jewelry, the pearls, the everything that's there. It's just the whole culture. Take me through Thrift Thursday. It seems like interesting. Oh yeah, Thrift Thursday is is basically second line clothing, which is thrift. Yeah, um, you you did yeah. mention that, but like, is it like every Thursday or? It's like okay, okay. Let me put it this way. Yeah. Every Thursday, I okay. Let's say every Thursday is Thrift Thursday. Yeah. Basically, okay. at times I advertise merch on Thursday, and we sell it along the day. Mm. So the word Thursday kind of like a promotion yeah, yeah. so when someone maybe you're on the phone or maybe you're driving your car you're like oh shit what's the day thursday oh shit there's a thrift thursday on quality yeah, merch remember yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying it just keeps you on the, yeah. on the head yeah. you know it's the marketing yeah. thing marketing. going on yeah marketing bro marketing is the key bro it is yeah it's yeah yeah all yeah. right yeah, so bro. before you got here bro oh yeah you were not here what do you mean you we're in a different city, right? Oh, before I got like, oh yeah, here yeah, right now yeah, today. Yeah yeah, 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 today, bro. It's my mind because I, I travel a lot, bro. I'll be yeah. real. I travel a lot. So I was at, yesterday I was in the north side. I was mm. in the north side. Uh, Kerry, shout out to Fresh by Kerry, bro. That nigga showed me so much love, bro. Tell me what I got The video. nigga shoes, nigga. The, the YFM. The YFM. Oh, boy. shit. Yeah, yeah, the YFM DJ, Kerry. Yeah, Yo, yeah, Kerry, yeah. bro. Shut is a real nigga, bro. Real talk, bro. Shout I don't know, no, 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 none of that, like no fake shit. Yeah, but like, yeah. Kerry is the one actually. I had him. I met Kerry at, I think, Forty Four Stanley mm. in Bram. It was mm. like a party there, you know. And like, okay, well, that's a radio nigga, Kerry. And I, I do radio. But before that, before I, I like, I, I was at YFM. Mm. I was at radio, women's radio, mm. women's radio in Bryanston. It's like you go and check out Chaka's house. She's like a radio station going yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. You know, that Palisang actually invited me. She fucked with my voice. She's like, okay, Kyo, come through, come co-host with me. Yeah. I co-host with like a little Palisang and everything, is running it up, showing me the ropes, because I'm new to this thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't wanna yeah. be like I'm a pro, but I'm still learning, still learning the ropes. Sure. You know? And then Palisang was like, okay, let me show you the ropes. This is this, this is the button you press, this is that, this is the computer, this is the reviews. Mm. You know, just do this, get on the mic, this let's run it up. We ran it up for like I think like two months straight. And then as that two months, I was supposed to be there consistently. But my bad on my side because uh, I was heavily busy with business. I couldn't go like every month, mm. you know, because of, yo, up of a week, December, bro, November, at those times, because there was a lot of events we had to attend. Mm. I don't want to be like, yeah, it was a lot of events. So I couldn't go there as much. And, you know, people kept requesting, okay, come this side, come this side, delivery that side, him that side. I was like, okay, I cannot. And then eventually find a replacement. Mm. Yeah, she found a replacement because like, okay, let me come. Because I was one day I texted like, yo, Palisa, I'm down. Let's, let's do it again. Yeah. Like, gosh, I found a replacement. Sorry, Shit. Kyo. But like, I was cool. I respected that. I respected yeah, it because yeah. my time was also not, I was heavily mm. like busy mm. and shit. Mm. So it was like, I found a replacement. Um, I'll, okay, I'll let you know. You know what let you know means? It's a nah sometimes. Yeah. You know, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. So it was like, I'll let you know what happened. And then I met Caddy. Back to get it. I met Kerry at 44 Stanley. It was like an event going on there. Oh yeah, Amanda Dupont was there too. It's my really? crush, bro. <laughs> Man, so you it? yeah, yeah, I did highlight her though. You know, yeah, how'd it I go? did. Because hey, like, I'm gonna let you know after I finish the Kerry story. Kerry, <laughs> I met Kerry like Abraham, and so mm. there was an event there, and so like, China was the one who was the plug actually. Shut up, China man. was like, okay, dude. I'm like, hey, okay, Kerry, I don't know what I'm Cause I don't wanna come up to him like that. Roll up on him like, "Hey, bro, I'm the, I'm Kyo Kaz. Mm. Invite me to your radio station." <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I went to China cause he knows China. Oh. China was like, "Hey, Joe Kerry, what's up? This is my homie Kyo Kaz. You know, he does this and this." I'm like, "Yo, bro, shout out, love your work, hey, hey." You mm. know, mm. along with we speaking about us drinks, cool ass homie, bro, mm. real talk. You know, like about us drinks, tequilas we drink. I'm like, "Yo, bro, look, I'm I'm passionate about radio. I mean, I got the vocal. You know, I just need." this amount of training show me the ropes i'm like he was like okay really dude i can see that come to my studio take my numbers i'm mm. gonna let you know in my studio i text her home we chat it up we chat it up you know ended up just like casual conversation this time it's not really about radio no more mm. you know and then i hit him up i think it was supposed to be last year december yeah hence i said like it was heavy busy on december i can't lie and then yeah i was like okay come through to the studio he said come through the studio i couldn't come through mm. you know he said come through the second time i couldn't come through and the third time, which was yesterday, I had to be there. Yeah, you know, I had to be there. He invited me. Um, DJ Faithful was there. And yeah, a friend, I forgot a friend, Mbani. Mbani was there. That's her mm. best friend. 
And then, yeah, we just like ran it up. He showed me the whole studio and what happens, the operational know-how. Yeah. And then how you supposed to sound, you know, vocal training. Mm. You know, yeah. But I got how to protect your voice. Probably. How to, yeah, how to protect yeah. your voice and how to keep it constant, which is really, is really the key, you know? Because mm. you can just like mess up and then change voices. You have to be consistent yeah, every yeah. single time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, I was there, I think I was on there. I, I, I wasn't really on air. Mm. Like for 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 like a for like a, a like a longest time, cause he was at work. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. young man. Cause I cannot really be like him. Hey, to think five up without being scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, without being scheduled. But yeah, now Joe, he's he's plugged, bro. He he showed me like a lot of shit, a lot mm. of shit. But I'm still keep going though. That wasn't just the one day. Yeah, like, so like if you're down, just call me. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at Joe. Yeah. Next time, Zogala, we can do this. Nini Zogala, mm. you know, until you. You know, get the ropes available and, and then knowing how you're gonna flow and then everything uh, maybe one day i'm just gonna have my own platform Yo. like i talk about fashion talk about the culture yeah you know? yeah, yeah i feel like that deserves a voice as well that's what i want to do most definitely does bro. Mm, that's what I, that's yeah. the same thing that we're doing right now bro. yeah we'll yeah, talk yeah. bro this shit, bro you gotta keep it up bro because on the east side bro we don't really have that because mm. niggas in east side when they blow up they usually go to the josie side mm. you know the, the the north side and mm. then running up there and mm. leave the east on being the east like yeah. talent blows up and then it jumps to that jumps side if, side, if yeah. talent blows up bro, it actually stays here mm. and then you can jump in if you want to you mm. can jump in i mean talent bro you gotta be where you you you're you born straight you, up you know straight and then I, I like i understand that the culture is at josie mm. you know the, the culture is at josie the buzz is there but I, hence i was telling niggas the other day i'm like if you want to create the culture you can create the culture here in in, 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 the, in the east mm. like mm. back then when there was was what's this like events Surge, yeah, and yeah, yeah. what's the other one? Thread, yeah. yeah thread, I I don't yeah. really attend them like that. Yeah. And and timeless sequence, you know, sure. was, something was was happening yeah, at the time. Up, we had yeah. the rappers, we had static, we had mm. classy. Mm -hmm. One of my uh, classy is real G, bro. Real Fine. G, right there. Real yeah. G. We had classy was running it up. We shout had China. Shout out to yeah, man. Shout out to classy. We shout out to static too. Mm. But it's static too. Still running it up. I think yeah, I he's not static been. anymore. He's running your charm. Oh, run your child. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even know his such names. Have, we had him actually on on like, the show. Yeah. Oh, cool. One of the, the first episodes he was. Oh, on. cool. Even Kabzo Wapi known as all. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, realize yeah. homie. Yeah, realize yeah. homie, legend, bro. Upcoming yeah. legend right there. Because yeah. I feel like he has a touch of Kwaito and then rap at the same time. Everything, bro. Like bro, he even produces. What? He can produce like anything you want him to. Yeah, yeah. I was with He's him in studio. Yeah. I was studio. I was in the studio with my boy Brandon. Yeah. Brandon is also coming up, bro. That nigga can play any instrument you want him to play brandon brandon's aura big guy, big yeah, guy yeah, buff yeah, nigga yeah, muscle yeah, man yeah, yeah. we call him muscle man now <laughs> <laughs> you know we call him muscle man yeah. so yeah what was it with him we were recording some track because yeah. our brandon bro i met brandon like four years back i think three years back or four years back mm. he was performing by you know Dumero, the founder of timeless sequence yeah yeah, yeah it, was, it was he had like a social session going on in his house you know mm. brandon was performing Brandon picked, the moment Brandon picked up the guitar, bro, and started playing, the crowd went crazy. You know when you perform me, there's those parts of the crowd where they're not really focusing yeah, the yeah, on the phones. Yeah. Now that one couldn't say that's a low taggy with that side. Yeah. But as soon as he started playing, yo bro, the crowd went nuts. nuts. The focus one was on him direct. Shit. I'm like, yo shit, this nigga was really talented. And I just met him that day. Mm. I feel it. And we were just like on, along the day. Homie came through to me. He was like, hey, bro, what's up, Kyo? I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? You really dope, bro. And then very, very little that side by Crystal. Used to say by a Centras. Mm -hmm. Just after Centras, by the corner house there. Yeah. Like, oh, bro, let's link up. You know how homies be. Yeah, you know, yeah. let's, let's link up. Let's do this. Because as homies, and yeah, you can randomly come to homie and be like, ah, oh, bro, let's hang out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are told. It comes off as as a like, ah, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah we are told. Yeah. It, it gotta happen organically. Mm -hmm. We are told. Yeah, like, bro, let's hang out. Let's do this. Where the bitches at? So he asked me, like, where the, I'm like, this nigga come through and ask me about bitches. <laughs> you know, I'm like, all right, bro. They're, they're, yeah, man. Because I wasn't really on out. I, I was only on because high school, Fady. Hans, I had like, gang Hans, you know, at yeah, high school. Yeah, yeah. Hans there and there. But as you grow up, though, that shit, like, outgrows you. Yeah, yeah. And so you started focusing Focus on more on important stuff, you know? Straight up. Yeah. Even right now, I feel like that image kind of shifted away from me. Mm. Maybe it's still there, the touch is still there, because I was this other nigga with hands, always, on top. Yeah, but yeah. as I started working and started pushing my craft, now niggas view me as the hustler Kyo Kuz. Mm. You know, mm. the visionary Kyo Kuz. Kyo Kuz, uh, 
future or upcoming radio personality, fashion fanatic, whatever. Sure. You know, that's how they view me that. And everyone comes to you like, hey, Joe, as a book. You know, niggas will just randomly call you. Yeah. It doesn't really, I, I wasn't really offended. Like, hey, bro, I'm shy party. I'm told, I need bitches. I'm like, bro. 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 I'm like, in, in terms of motivation, mm. that nigga Andrew Tate, what he did, you know, motivating people right back in the center, you, you're viewing it's Andrew Tate, telling yeah. you about how you should want to be mm. your masculinity, how to be a man, you know, mm. how to get the bag, you, you know. It was bragging at times, it, it came off as bragging, mm. but then, as you, you, Mom Bugera, the, the, the guy, at least it was okay, this shit, he's just actually speaking facts, you know, yeah, he's actually does. speaking facts, and then how. I don't want to start on the other shit, you know. Even though I'm, the feminists are going to be mad at you for bringing him up. Ah, uh, but it is, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It's already there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's already there, man. Yeah. Even feminism, I don't want to touch on that. Because yeah. I feel like it's fake. Yeah. You know, the whole feminism <laughs> thing. That shit is fake, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fake. The whole movement. Uh, I don't really... How do you... I don't really criticize it, though. Let me be real. Because maybe I'm going to come off as... Hey, Kyo Kass, they want to be under Tate now because I got the classes and everything. Yeah. But, like, but like, feminism actually now promotes false, like, let me say, okay, false image mm. on the, 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 the male side. Mm. You know, so now we're viewed as Samari pissed. Now, when you're a male, you're an abuser. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to be in jail. You're a thug, you shoot people, you mm. rob, you mm. do this. I feel like that's how feminism is pushed. Mm. You understand? I think Tolles Mo on the podcast, Labrador yeah, Mick I was just yeah. speaking about that. What's now, bro? Nini Mazo to your rape, but Uma Repa. We are told. Nini, you're at a party, you lit, you you with the hand, and then I'm um, told, I'm shy. And then, man, you want to go to maybe she gets mad, or maybe I was some fool, maybe it was a wine. I don't know. It's a situation, bro. Yeah, it comes yeah. off at that situation where you know, maybe with the. This is this and this, or you argue, or they gonna beef now. You know, different type of situation. I respect that. I respect women, young Tola, but what's, what's happening right now? Ah, I don't, we don't fuck with it. You know that, bro. We don't know. Because, mind you, you know, people are getting arrested. Left that. The Tola Smo happened the same shit, where yeah, he yeah. was labeled as a rapist because the heart just went through to the police station and be like, hey, mm. rapey, this and this. Like, many, it was a agreed upon thing. Yeah. Young Tola. That shit is messed up, bro. People or girls. Women gotta stop doing that. Like you gotta stop them because it messes. I think it messes up with your head as well. Yeah. yeah. Until, like, I think we've being touched, accused of something you didn't do. Um, I think we've touched on this before with Kadibo. Like, oh yeah. There's real feminism where, like, the females are fighting for real shit. Like, yeah. Because it started for a good cause. It, 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 it did respectfully. Yeah. It did respectfully. But then there's these fucked up chicks. It's mostly the thoughts that chase money and mm. what, 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 what. Because mm. it's those girls that mm. if I'm mm. after sex, like, yeah. I'm going to go say you raped me. Or yeah, like, exactly. Because there's no like ones. solid like law regarding that. Mm. You know, I think they're working on that. I don't know. Because I'm not really on politics or whatever happens in the SA because it's, it's fucked up in yeah, this country, bro. Up, to a point where I don't want to uh, entertain some of the other stuff that's happening, even especially politics. Because mm. I used to be heavy on politics back then, bro. I don't think high school, heavy on politics, focusing, fucking writing, am a writer. I used to, thing is, hence I said, I can't write lyrics, yeah. but I used to write stories, bro, like codes and everything, what happened in the politics, add on my inputs, my views, yeah. how I see the situation, how I analyze it, maybe in Peggy TV and all the news. I'm like, okay, who in this and this did wrong? Nah, you're not supposed to do this, you're supposed yeah. to act this way. I used to be that nigga, but then as things started like switching up, I was like, ah, you know, politics, dog. It's about who eats the most now. You're gonna be like, Obvious. that's that's exactly what politics is, bro. It's Obvious. kind of like I'm on a circle. So I was like, I actually like I, I didn't focus and I started focusing on my craft, mm. not what I see on the, the politics and everything and everything. I started focusing on me, bro. Mm. Started focusing on me, like dead ass, like that to a point where I like uplifted my confidence to a hundred percent. I'm like, now you cannot touch me, bro. You can hurt me. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can hurt me in various ways. But I'm pulling nothing out. Yeah. 
But like my confidence, bro, it's one thing I always say. It's one thing you cannot touch, bro. Yeah, you yeah. literally cannot touch it, and mm. you cannot really touch yeah. it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, but that's one thing I would never take away from me. You can take away my clothes, you can take away my accessories, whatever. Mm. But my confidence can always be there, bro. Shout always be there. You gotta tell yourself, wake up, and I'm the best at what I do, and I'm good at it while I'm doing it. Whatever you think, samatama, the dog, you're doing this, bro. As long as you're running it up, you can sell tomatoes online, bro. It don't really matter. Yeah. As long as you're doing the most and you're like proud of it, bro. Take it like a man. Did your confidence help with Amanda? <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Thank you for reminding me on that one. It, it definitely did. Yeah. But I was with my boy Sizes at the time. Yeah. I can tell, cause it was so weird. You know when you meet like a high end celebrity for the mm. first time, mm. and then well, Amanda obviously, it was kind of like a crush at high school. I can tell, yeah. cause when you did that ghetto ghetto yeah, with yeah, Casper the music video when you brought it up I'm like yo this girl is pretty yes. no fuck mm. and I actually gotta gotta see her very very lot because I but I wasn't really like coming off to her as a fan mm. or like a crush yeah when I came yeah I almost went there bro yeah. like you know, talk. <laughs> when I came on I was my boy's side we yeah. like okay I show niggas my good figure hi man I want to, I all dripped up. Before Angisha we went to the, it was a Crocs event, Espo scene. Mm. It wasn't the, the same event as the, the Jordan ones. There was a Crocs event we went to with the boys. And then after that one, my boy left, I was like, hey, there's a party in Brahmachi that was invited. We got this DJ, Charlock Screen, which is really dope. Yeah, this yeah. other chick, Ucha, bro. Charmaine, that's her name, Charmaine. Mm. Oh, bro, she's dope. She's dope. But my, the next uncle waffle, let me just put it like that. Fair. And so, yeah, Ucha was like, yo, we are DJ, I go PUP. Let's go there. I'm told how we go there. Must figure, we enter. Must figure by your born and my. It's that party. A grassy bro. It's chill. Mm. I'm told it's that party where it's somebody who's somebody in the industry. Mm. We're told. Mm. Must figure like maybe maybe Aumkeni was behind the scenes, but he's doing something. Mm. Whether they cause my they call this Converse painter. Mm. Busy roaming around there. I'm told we didn't even know he was a. Cause you can see by the tattoos. Cause this nigga is somebody. Yeah. We don't know him, but he's yeah. definitely <laughs> somebody. I don't know him. Let me be real. I don't know him. And yeah. my mom, my chief, the is good. That's a converse. Low clear that painter, I'm converse. They chose it. Brav, you talk. But then yeah, my little dog figure, Amanda was there. And my nephew, my niece, my chief, and cousin, my chief. It's the chief. You, we want to ask, we want to ask. Amanda, we want to ask. I'm told. My mom, my chief. Yeah, and then they start doing the shit. I'm like these niggas. Oh, <laughs> no, they didn't do anything, bro. Oh, I think they yeah, just yeah. start going. I don't know, yeah, but they just yeah. kept doing the shit. I'm like, eh, okay. And then they started. I'm like, hey, these niggas. These niggas are tripping. Let me just go and highlight them. I'm tell. Ah, my nyan figa la payana. I'm like, hi, how are you? She's like, hey, how are you good? I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm like, I'm sorry to come off as you. I'm like, I st- I just said to her, yo, I'm a fan. Young <laughs> like I, I don't know. I, I said I don't want to come off as a fan, but like, yeah. yo, hi, how are you? You look beautiful. I'm a fan. That's what I said. You know, yeah. like, hi, thank you. You know, I like your outfit. You know, because I was heavily dripped. I got this like jacket, a brown. Yeah. Oh, I had a jacket, a brown, and a shirt, the whites with a tie, and a baggy pants, and a converse, yeah. and a funky. I uh, wonder what those hats called. Yeah, but uh, they know the fit. The people know the fit. The fit yeah. was hot. Even Liago scars. You know Liago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liago scars cried about the fit, bro. We're like, yo, bro, you look so cool. Mm. I don't want to be like, yo, my fit was number one, but mm. I came through, bro. Shut I kept doing the fit. It was a fashion show, Crocs event. Yeah, it was like a, yeah, it was exactly as a fashion show. So yeah, I go hosted sure it. I made sure, but like, hence I said, isn't it? Like, I don't normally plan a fit. Mm. A fit has to happen organically. Yeah. My funny week coming with a fit. Let me put on this and this. Pa. And I just left the house. Mm. They're crying, bro. I feel like, ah, you know. Taking taking pictures, yo, people are crying, bro. We're taking pictures then there. Yeah. Remy, Remy, yeah, this guy called Remy. Really, really, or like uh, Remy took us pictures. Remy's mm. is another photographer who's dope as fuck. I think yeah. he's registered or accredited in US. Mm. And he came this side. Mm. Yeah, we met Remy. Remy's clicks with Liajo. I think they're friends. Mm. Oh, yeah, we met Remy. Remy took us pictures. And then after, at the Brahmi van, after we moved to the Brahmi van, I talked with the man. Ah, oh, maybe I'm going off track, bro, because I, I talk about a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, but it's <laughs> fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, but like, back to Amanda. I'm like, yo, I'm a fan, yada, yada, yada. And then she's like, I like your outfit. And when she said, I like your outfit, the one I'm like, yo, damn. In yeah. my head, I'm like, did she really say that? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, she really said that, though. I'm like, ah, I'm like, ah, I'm like, ah, I don't scream. I'm like, yeah. okay, thank you so much. You look, yo, you look beautiful. Let's, let's take pictures. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, yada, yada. I'm like, yo, I'm young boys. I'm like, yo, what's your name again? I'm like, yo, I'm Keo. 
Oh, Jawa undi yo. Ngat, mm. I'm Kyo, is your right? Yeah, I'm so like, oh, okay, Kyo, she left. I'm so like, I talked for like 20 minutes, top, and then she left. And yeah. afterwards, I was at a point where things were, yo, girl, holla your number. Yeah, I told holla your number. Like, yeah, what yeah. didn't you? Ah, uh, but like, they got no, connect this other nigga, so I think it was her manager. Because mm. at the time, I didn't even know she was divorced. Oh, I don't know what I said, you. I didn't even know. Because I would have made a move straight up. Yeah, even yeah, yeah. she might be older, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like I would have made a move. It was like when come with she was the man's. Cause respectfully, I don't want to be that nigga. Sure, and so sure. I was like, I sharp one big and then she left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that was it though. We met some couple of people though as well, but like yeah, it was all, it's just a whole vibe that time. Yeah, it was just yeah. a, a crazy as vibe, crazy as That's vibe. That's crazy. So mm. you you think your wrist game is hell? The the what? Your wrist game. My wrist game. Wrist. Riz, Riz. Like Riz. Share, yeah. Oh, yeah, I call it game, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, my wrist game, I feel like it's 70%. Mm. I don't want to be like it's 100. Because, like, Mina, the simplest thing about me is that I don't, I'm not afraid of an approach. Mm. And so, you know, as a gent, my funny approach it becomes off as a mission. Yeah, yeah. and because funny woman, it should have been come off. As you should know, when you were like, now yeah. come on, they were like, yeah, they were like eh, okay. Yeah. And so I'm like, these niggas, bro, these niggas are tripping, bro. Why are they not reacting? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm down, I straight up. I'm going to yeah. figure the conversation start flowing. Yeah. Me now, my, my like issue is I'm not really consistent. Because I'm not really consistent. But if I'm Kazi as much on the spot, on the dot, mm. like just keeping it a buck, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna entertain you. You might be pretty, you might yeah. be a baddie, but like I'm, I'm pretty too. I'm a nigga. I'm, I'm doing this shit. That's, you know? the, that's the thing with, shit, I mean. yeah. That's the thing with, the, with thoughts, bro. Like they, yeah. Yo, bro, hold up. Why you call it girls thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask that. <laughs> I wanted to ask that real talk. I call a spade a spade. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I yeah. respect. Okay, thoughts. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know how it sounds. <laughs> that's the thing with thoughts. Like thoughts have game, bro. Mm. You know, like thoughts. You know YG's song. She wish she was a nigga. Oh yeah. You know. Wish she was a nigga. She wish she was a nigga. What's the track again? It's she wish she was a nigga. That's the name of the track. <laughs> Yo, shit. YG. I haven't been real on YG though, because in terms of toxic niggas, I consider YG is toxic. <laughs> Future's fucking hella toxic. Yo, future, bro. I don't want to even start on future, bro. That's King Toxic right there. Yeah, but that's the, the, that's mm. the thing with like thoughts, like they, they were they they act as they have game, bro. Oh yeah. So they 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 come with their game on you, like uh, when you ushela like a chick, now, mm. like today. Oh yeah. Because you just mentioned that, like, I'm gonna show uh, if. You're not connecting with a girl, like mm. you're out. Uh, yeah, I'm out, bro. But these yeah. thoughts, they have game. So you connect with her, but she run game on you. Like mm. she's gonna act like she's not feeding you, and she's oh, yeah? gonna reply 15 minutes or fifth, like. Oh yeah, five really, days really quickly. Later, or, oh yeah. Oh, you, you know, mean so, later? Yeah, on the I day. mean late. Oh, but that's just okay. the game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's just the game. Playing a game, oh. and that's the thing, like with these girls, like. Okay, ah, oh, nah, I get it, I get yeah, it, bro. Same. Yo, I don't even, okay, I knew that, but like, as you mentioned, I don't know at that extent, to that yeah, extent. Yeah, but, feel so I get that. It's a game, and, mm. like, when mm. you do that, like, uh, I'm synchro. Mm, mm. so, like, but, and, you know, with bro. chicks these days, just to add on, like, mm. this whole mentality, I don't know if the East mentality, or it happens all over the world. Guti, mm. Maula. Young taller, oh, you. I yeah. know ah, it's here, bro. Now nah, let me, let me, let me like correct that. It's actually here. <laughs> let me not say feed it, but in the north side, I'm, I usually play around the north side a lot, bro. There's niggas that are sick, bro. They don't know, they don't got a whip. They don't they just like Uber, wherever they go, young taller, and they still they still cool. They don't have any problems. They still get chicks. But yeah, bro, ah, my maulana, you 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 get chicks and chicks start falling over you. That shit is messed up, bro. True. Like I'm bitter or anything like that, but like nah, that mentality people gotta cut it, bro. You gotta cut that mentality, bro. Yeah. Especially the chicks. It's like yeah. on my thoughts. Let me just say, yeah. But that, that, hey, yeah, but let me not, not. Yeah, I'm not saying all of them. Yeah, let, let me, me let me correct them. You. Mm. Now I'm gonna be zut thoughts. Mm. Yeah, I was just playing me. around, bro. <laughs> that nigga on the Lucy podcast. Yeah, um, but like 
Um, yeah, not all girls, bro. I know girls that are real, bro. Mm. Like, I know, like, there's other... I don't want to even mention... Let me not name drop, because yeah. my chick might be watching this after this. Oh, yeah, yeah chick. Yeah, I have a chick. Is she fine with Amanda? Yeah, she, she fine. Because she is a lab, bro. What? Oh, the, 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 ah, yeah, I think she's fine with it. She's not really mine, though. Real yeah. talk, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking for her. Maybe yeah. she does my young chick. Yeah, yeah. Young Sola. But, like, I know chicks that are fucking... Cool, bro. They don't mm. mind what you got. They don't mind what clothes you have on, the shoes you got. As long as you, you got your vision, you got yeah. dreams. Obviously, you gotta have dreams. Yeah, yeah. Mom, you could just meet a chick and be like, I, I chill at my mom's house, and then yeah, let's just yeah. fuck her. Let's just, you know, and then do that shit co co consistently. Why, mm. why? I want my plan. I want a vision. I want a next step. Boy, no pegil. And then you have one and I go to la, ah le, ah Lazar, this guy. But like. Hence, I'm saying, with the, if you meet Umuntu Vele Vele, who sees you as you, not this you have on, yeah, yeah. That, that that person sticks with you, that's real. Mm. To me, that's what real is. I'm told, Straight yeah. Up. yeah. Straight up. So, bro, if you had like 24 hours to live, bro, oh, yeah? live to live here on Earth, what would you do? Oh, shit. I would do a lot of shit. Yeah. I would like do what? 24 hours. Yeah. Do I have money at the time? Uh, let's say now. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 it's just okay. you. Uh, bro, I would... Okay, let's see my family. I would start with my family. Mm. But tell it how I really feel. Mm. I'm told, because in my family, we don't really talk about emotions. I'm told, I don't touch on them. Mm. I'm told, I would like, okay, feeling my, my sister, my, 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 my mom. My mom, I tell her I love her. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. mostly on, on WhatsApp. And then my mang nai, it's difficult. Ish. I don't know how to put it, you know? But she knows yeah. I love her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, young yeah, toddler. But I cannot say, yo, mama, you're tired. It's, it's hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie, but like, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to try. Because yeah. Akaya, bro, we just grew up easy, though. Let me, let me just put it, bro, in like the simplest way ever. Mm. Akaya, bro, our love was, I'm a materialistic thing. Yeah. So, but closer. Like with like everything you want, you want clothes, nah. Yeah. You want a phone, nah. You want a hoverboard, nah. Oh. <laughs> remember the days, <laughs> yeah. He remembers the days. Yeah, there used to roll out the hoverboard. Hey, yeah, hey. so that's that was my mom, bro. My yeah. mom used to take me everywhere, so that was love to her. Mm. You didn't really now, young toddler. We didn't have to say it. Yeah, I'm sorry. So he used to take me to concerts, bro. Hey, you wanna go see Justin Bieber? Yeah, I don't really wasn't really Justin Bieber fan. I used to copy my sister. Hey, wrestling, WWE is coming up. Mm. It's in SA. You want to go? I want to go. Mom takes me there. Yeah. And so that's, that's, my, that's how the love was, how they showed it. I'm not really, I'm not really sure it's how you're supposed to show it, though. But, like, mm. it, it, it made it, like, it was visible, at least. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it like that. It was visible. So, yeah, my mom's going to probably watch this. So at least mom, she was with you, though, when, when mm. she's... Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, she was with me all the time. I could yeah, see a good thing. Yeah. My mom actually loves me. And my yeah. grandma as well. Yeah. My grandma is like my wall, bro. My grandma actually, like, we don't own Kulisil. And so, from Dala, dog, from Dala, I used to stay in my Tata, bro, with her. When she mm. had a house in Tata, my mom was humming it My mom used to take me places. Mankula, my, my grandma and me. I'm yeah. Pegela. Till this day, bro. We sang Pegela. We saw. Hey Joe, do a lot of shit, bum. It's Captain mm. when I'm going to work. That's shy, bro. When I'm playing on okay, she would do those home remedies. Yeah. I'm told with the wake red, maybe petal you see she would do that. Everything in Iwashini, bro. And at times I would like I'm volunteer. I'd be like, hey, let me just do, do it. Yeah. You know, I'm old enough. Yeah. She would say no. no. Yeah, yeah, I'm told I would I wanna out gather everybody that I love mm. and then just do something special to them. You know, that was the first twenty four hours the, the twenty four hours we do. Other than that, um, I would just do, I don't know, I don't even know where to start because I feel like the things that I, I'm, I would do in 24 hours, I'm doing them right now because yeah, yeah, I'm not quick. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. not quick. If I have a thought or a vision in life, mm. I do it maybe the next day or maybe the four days after. Mm. Uh, it's like because like, like, if something sits in your head for like forever, it's, it's not going to manifest into reality. True. But you, okay, Fede, if. But if you want to get rich, you got to start in the head, of course. I'm told, and then do it physically. Mm. Young bam. Mm. Yeah, so me now, I'm going to in my head, and then I do it physically. I'm going to say, I'm going it's physical, I'm going to say, I'm that's what keeps me going. I want, mm. That's why hence I'm saying, I, I, I don't necessarily know what to say, 
what I would do in the next year. I'm do I'm gonna do it still. You're I'm gonna still, do whatever yeah. I wanna do. I'm talking from the podcast. I would do it. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanna. I wanna be on a SABC show. I wanna be on Showmax. I wanna act. I wanna design whatever. I wanna sell tomatoes. I don't wanna sell mangoes. Whatever you wanna do, yeah. I would do it, bro. I would do it straight up. I wanna start an event. I would do it. Do it. Yeah, I'm told. Yeah, just do it is my motto, bro. Shout out, shout out, shout <laughs> it's out. my motto, bro. Uh, shout out to mm. you, man. You fucking amazing, dog. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, the confidence, mm. as you mentioned. Nah, thank you so much, bro. Here. The swag is up here. Yeah, thank you so much, bro. Dog, I really appreciate that. The mind mentality. Yeah, is up yeah, here. yeah. Bro. Everything, my nigga. Nah, shout out to that, bro. Keep it's all love, bro. Shout out to the homie, bro. Yeah, B, yeah, yeah, capital yeah. B. Shout out to Kyo. Aye, aye, aye. Shout out to capital B, bro. Mr. Kyo, man. Any last words you got, bro? Uh, I'd rather be like, ah, Joe. Um, it was fun, bro, being yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, fun yeah. being on the show, bro. Yeah, I fuck, yeah. I fuck with the your podcast, bro. Thanks, and you with the man. homie couldn't be here. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout yeah, out yeah. to him. Well. Keep doing your thing, bro. Shout out. On my side, bro, I'm gonna just still keep pushing what I do. I'm gonna still push my craft. Mm. I'm gonna still push quality merch. I'm still be on the radio, learning and shit. Mm. And probably I'm gonna have my platform on my own one day. I don't know when, though. We need that, though. It's gonna be. It's gonna yeah. be, though. Yeah. And I'm still gonna come up with them sick ass designs. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, bro. I'm still mm. pushing, still support. Whatever you're doing, I'm gonna support you. Whatever you're pushing music, I'm gonna be there. Whatever you do, I'm a promo. Shut That's up. That's who I am, bro. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what have you designed, like? Oh, um, recently. Yeah. Um, recently, um, I'm good to, I came up with the design plan. Mm. Yeah, 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 Lord. It was worth. Actually, what's that, worth? Yeah, what's worth high. For real. I'm actually designer of the new metric uniform, the skirts and the pants. Hey. When I was working there last year, 2021. Was it 2021? Yeah, I started working in 2021, yeah. late. Yeah. And then uh, I worked along 2022 as well. How so, did that come about? Uh, like, as I was there, very, very late. I'm sure I used to buy a unit. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I used to go at Unity Secondary School. I want to, there was, oh, Umelo. I was in Umelo, Ubongo, Si. And I don't know, it was a whole involvement thing going on. Yeah. Buzzing in the pants, they say you need to the checkered pants, like the pinkish, whitish sure, going sure. on. Yeah, the principal actually lived in my street. Mm. Like the former principal was and the founder of the school. Yeah, yeah they, came, they, they just made the pants, made request, and then they made it. And then at the time when they were doing it, I'm like, oh, these niggas very, very. They actually created a uniform by a principal by a scale. You know, at the time, you um, youngins couldn't have that power. Mm. I'm a metric especially. Mm. They didn't have the power. So my wife was shy. I was like inspired. So man, figure up. I had another. I had the vision. I'm like, I'm man. What's up with Wordsworth? I'm told they don't really have a unique feature about them. The school. They just it was plain. I'm not like disregarding a good teacher. Yeah, uniform, I hear you though. You make like, sense. Yeah. I saw more of the school. Mm. And so, so I had like, I, I had a vision on like, okay, let me think, what can I do right now? My mind started rolling. My girl got rolled, I was like, bang, let me shop out the uniform and then pre- like present it to the principal, my teacher, yeah. my bala, my bala, my bala. And then I came up with the pictures and everything, the detail, the pattern, the colorway. And I shy, I shy, I shy. I go shy, I go principal. I went to the principal, like your principal, my idea. Mm. I have a uniform, this and this. And so, I come to the meeting, come on this day. Maya on the day, I discuss her she what well, there were actually two designs. There was a skirt which was uh, bluish, blue white. It was like light blue. Mm. And the other one was real blue. That's one they're wearing right now with the checkered. Sure. Yeah. She fucked with the second one. There was two designs. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Separate each. Sure. Yeah, well, there were two designs. And then she fucked with the second one. The second one, okay, she's she's to me, not to be like, you know, but like to me she said, Okay, I like this one. Yada, yada, yada. And there was no further communication with rega- regards to that. Mm. And I actually have proof that it's my design. Mm. I have conversations, I have whatever to take, you know, further steps if they don't give me my cash because they're not really giving me anything. They're yet. not saying anything. Yeah, bro, because after, to be real, after that, after I pitched the thing, mm. I was like, yo, okay, how's it going? Because my contract time at the school it was about to end. I thought maybe was on Kaya, another contract and be the school designer, whatever. Yeah, yeah. We have because uh, I saw some good people there going on. I don't think they're gonna pull a move like that. We have a, I like Fede. I like okay, check. It's exciting. He said to the parents, mm. they they fucking took that design by teachers to the parents of the learners. Mm. But see, there's a uniform coming. Take out this much money, young So so oh, like eh, I wasn't even invited in the meeting. Mm. And so the person who came up with the idea wasn't even invited. Invited, I mean. So I was like, okay, 
that's cool. They made the first move. Oh, it's cool. I'm cool. And Abu was like, I was still selling it. Gone. The contract ended. I left. I got the guvaya. I, I think I tried asking. And then to a point where I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. You're not going to do this without me. That's my shit. I left. I went to guvaya. January, bro. I got the figure. There were rumors. Oh, my mistake. There was teacher on text. What, hey? They, they might be going ahead with the idea last year. What, 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 what. So in my head, I'm like, I really? Why haven't they called me yet? Like, I, these people, they're crazy. Hence, I said, let us this time, I'm busy. To a point where I didn't really focus on the idea. And it's actually huge now. Well, so after that, uh, I generally hit. And the, the uniform came through. Went crazy. I'm sure now it's, it's new, bro. Mm-hmm. You're gonna see it. it's crazy, bro. I'm gonna show you pictures when we done. Yeah. yeah, after that, I just literally saw it on my post. I'm gonna send them actually, which is Babo. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta watch that. Uh, the Westworth fucking made a move on me. I don't really like how they're doing things because I'm doing, I'm, I'm busy like going to the school, trying to talk to them and negotiate. And I really, we haven't really discussed anything though, let me be real. Yeah. But I want, a, I want a meeting, I want my cut, I want my money. Mm. I want, because at times, it, among my approach, I wasn't really about the money. Mm. I was about the school and how I saw them with Sibabe Ganjani and how they're supposed to, what the confidence, mm. the, the, the learners, just to add. I'm sorry. But when they made, the principal, I made the move. I don't know who was involved, but a lot of people, I saw my in when the idea came through. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. And then me, I was sidelined. Uh, I'm sorry. But um, I'm still going there. I'm still pushing over there. They got to give me my shit. I'm going to show you the pictures. And then, yeah, the, and then, who was I? Yeah, mm. you're just saying, Guti, you, y'all haven't discussed it. Yeah, the, the, the terms and everything. Mm. But, like, yeah, the, the uniform is, is sick. It fucking, it, it kind of fucked me up. Mm. Like, you were crazy. When I saw it, in Taman, when your work on the gram, on WhatsApp, I post, yeah, it's heavy. They don't even know who it is. Bruh. You know? And, when I'm actually loving Spanabo, I say, so there was one nigga I heard, I claim. I say, he's in army. Hey, many, bro, you don't even have proof. Because when I made it, I was with the homie. The last lady, mm. I'm so ang boza. I teach you upalan. What are you doing here? I'm like, I bro, I wanna design. From you, you should propose our principal. From shiny uniform, so I have this vision for the school. Eh, okay, that's what the homie said. After my dad do get second hand claim, mama. My yabo ang guto kim. Kyo yabo na to your work. My you become a bit like yeah. like sad. I was sad, bro. Like real talk, I was sad seeing it. Like Marai came strong as well. And then some other shit happened. I couldn't come on time on the, on the dot, like just keeping it about. Mm. I couldn't come on the dot, like, hey, where's my cut? Where's my money? They're selling it to, not right now. It started as, I'm an EE kid. And so yeah. when they sold the skirts, they made the pants. And so, yeah. so they started with the skirts to make the pants. To show mm. they didn't really have the guala. To, 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 they, they took yeah. my idea, they made guala off it. And so, which yeah. is insulting. You know, it's really insulting, bro. I don't want to lie. It's really insulting. But then regardless, I'm still go there. It with me like, hey, I want my shit. I want my share and I want my terms and I want my acknowledgement, my credit, bro. Because my, I was even thinking of oh, getting a fucking newspaper or something, bro. Yo, yeah, yeah bro. Time, yeah, shit. yeah, they got to see that. They got to see that. Which now, what they, what they are doing. Like, I want to be, I want to be like the whole school's doing it. Because mm-hmm. there was people that were involved, which by pushing the, Describe, there was people that bank support there at the mm, school. Like, mm, we know it's yours. Mm. They're the kids, bro. The kids at the school, they know, bro. They're the kids. And my, those kids, bro. And then there was a one, they are one of the biggest supporters at QM, bro. Man, mm. shake the people out and be like, hey, ain't I so what's with? Like, yo, say, drip, drip. You know, all yeah. those type of remarks. I was, because like me, I was, I used to like wear clothes, my clothes. I was, at the time, I was drip. I used to wear clothes, but I used to wear clothes. And those kids were fucking showing me love. Like, yo, I drip, I say, you dope. Young tall, I'm like, okay, fade it. Much the bag on the kids. I want to design a uniform for you guys. What, 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 Yeah, the fade it. We shy. It's funny. I'm alone. just adding opinions because we're going to discuss it now and briefly. Which, okay, okay, guys, my Elon, which ones do you like? Yeah. I want, and some, I want to say, which they know it's my idea. Everybody, almost everybody in the school knows it's my idea. Sure. My problem is, why didn't the school acknowledge me as such? Even a thank you, bro. Bruh. They didn't even say thank you for the idea, bro. Fucking hell, an assembly or something, bro. I could have came with my niggas to a shooter and then say, Bega Gulon, if these other cool schools would call you up, mm. I'm like, we saw your shit. Zarat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm told. Yeah, bro, that's it. Where's where the end They gotta give you your money. Bro. Yeah, man. They gotta, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. They gotta, bitch, but I have my money, bro. We gotta have my shit, bro. Cause like, you make me gang cash off that. Gang cash off yeah. that. But like, yeah. 
story for another day. Me now on my side, I'm gonna still pushing, dog. I want my shit. Yeah. yeah. I hope you get that sorted, man. Mm. Nah, man. Think we should close. Man. Ah, let's close it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shout Thank out you so much, man. You a fucking king, bro. Nah, wait, man. Thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you for being on the show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Shout out to you, man. All the best. Wish you the best, man. No, you're kidding, bro. Again, wish they give you your fucking money. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna, bro. Or else I'm gonna involve the lawyers in there. <laughs> yeah, bro. Shut up, man. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and everything. You know the deal. Yeah, do the most, man. Make yeah. sure this podcast hits the whole fucking essay by the storm, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, right. bro. Right. 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 Exactly, bro. Exactly. Because you know when you grow, a lot of stuff kept like you're gonna add more shit. Mm. And it becomes a huge thing. Mm. Yeah, man. Let me not preach, bro. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Thank you for being on the show, man. Shout out to B. Yeah, man. It was, it was a fun ass podcast. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Cut it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Nah, hey, hey. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. I wish you're a trainer or something.